What up, though? It's your boy Fresh Rome with another debate, and I got my co-host with me. I am not your co-host. You my co-host for today. I'm a special guest. Special guest. I got a special guest today. My name is Allie. My name is Allie. <laughs> and today we're doing the top five. What is the greatest Nickelodeon cartoon show? Cartoon show, not TV show from Nickelodeon. What is the greatest cartoon show from Nickelodeon? I didn't know it was cartoons. I literally don't have any cartoons on my list. Roll the intro. All right, guys. She left, man. She's going to look at her top five. So I'm going to do it by myself for right now. So I'm going to name my top five right now. Now, I forgot my top five. Uh, get my list. Uh, my list. Start at number five. Great show. Rocket Power. We are riders on a mission. Action kids in play position. Rocket Power. Ah, uh, Rocket Power. I don't know nothing about Rocket Power. It's been so long since I watched cartoons, but... I'm just going off the top of my head, man. Rocket Power, there was a sister and brother, skateboarding, always getting in some troubles, doing ex extreme stunts. It was a good show, man. I can't remember nothing about it, but I just put on my top five because I had to throw some in there top five. Like Wild Thorn Birds could have made it. Cat Dog could have made it. I should have put Cat Dog, but I don't remember nothing, man. I'm old as hell now. Some of these shows y'all probably don't remember. This was way before MySpace, YouTube, before dial up before anything man so but i put rocket power at number five number four everybody know this one rugrats rugrats you got chucky angelica dale pickle chucky the two twins. Who else you got on the Rugrats? But Rugrats, man, it was an icon show. They made like three movies, hit theater. I seen all three of them with my two little sisters, man. So everybody remember the Rugrats. You know, Tommy was the leader, had a little diaper on. Then he had a little brother, Dale, come up, last name Pickles. Then you had uh, Susie, the only black character on the show, but you always had to throw a little black character in there. So Susie was in there. She's the only one that could beat up Angelica. Hey, your hair's all grody. And everybody loved Angelica, even though she was the villain of the show, but everybody loved Angelica too. And don't forget about Chucky, who was scared of everything. He was scared of ketchup. He was scared of pepper. But it was a good show, man. Growing up watching that show with my two sisters. That's the real reason I watched all these shows. So I had two younger sisters, so I watched all these shows with them, and I fell in love with those shows. But Rugrats, number four on my list. Great classic show on Nickelodeon. Number three. People going to be pissed about this because it's probably going to be everybody's number one show. But for me personally, it's number three, but it's a classic show. SpongeBob SquarePants. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear you. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. I put SpongeBob at number three, man. Number three. I'm sorry. It's a good show. It's funny. But the other two ahead of them were more in my heart. And my soul, way better than Spongebob. But you know, you got Sandy, you got Spongebob. Patrick was my favorite character on Spongebob. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. <laughs> Is mayonnaise an instrument? No, Patrick. Mayonnaise is not an instrument. In Plankton, Patrick and Plankton was my two favorite characters. SpongeBob, of course, but yeah. And I also like Mr. Crab, cheap ass, man. How you gonna be a fucking crab with a, a whale daughter? Dad? Oh, hi, Pumpkin. I was just setting out refreshments for you and your friends. Crackers and tap water? You are the cheapest crab alive! No, don't say that. Here, would your friends like some pizza? Well, yeah. Yeah, we would. <laughs> okay, you can have your allowance early. Ketchup! See, you put it on the crackers, and mamma mia, you got a wonder spicy pizza pie. Mm. How, can somebody explain that? Anybody, explain that. How you gonna have a crab and have a whale daughter? 
That's why you love SpongeBob. It was so crazy, man. It was a good show, man. Some of that shit never made sense, but that's why it was so funny, man. SpongeBob SquarePants. Hey, tell me how you have a, a crab as a daughter. I mean, a whale as a daughter. You're a crab and your daughter's a whale. Because <laughs> SpongeBob. It's SpongeBob? That's why. That's why. SpongeBob. <laughs> Deep Blue Sea, whatever they say in the bottom of the ocean, whatever the intro is. I don't even know the intro, man. Someone play the intro song and for they me. They got a campfire down there, too. They got a campfire, too. How you gonna have fire? <laughs> <laughs> Under the ocean, man. But yeah, SpongeBob number three on my list. Number two, number two, Doug. Doug Funny. Y'all don't remember Doug Funny. Y'all remember Doug? No. Young ass kid. They don't remember Doug, man. Doug was the first show. It was like the original Hey Arnold, man. Doug was, everybody was, somebody was purple. Somebody was yellow. Doug was white. He had a dog named Porkchop. Flash show. He had a crush on this girl named Petty Mayonnaise. Was it awful? First, he took me to a terrible movie. Then he tried to hold my hand. He thought he was so cool. I could tell he wanted to kiss me, so I ran inside and slammed the door in his face. I wanted to puke. Oh, so, did you ever go out with Mr. Lamo again? Never! Petty Manny was fine, man. She was fine. She had yellow hair, but her skin was brown. Penny Manny. The good old days. But anyway, back to Doug. Doug was just a good show about a kid just following his life, his parents. He had a dog named Porkchop. And Doug used to write cartoons. He used to fly. He used to call himself Quail Man. He used to put his belt on his head and try to beat up superheroes. He does his nerd dude. He's a bully named Rogers with a big ass pointy nose. He used to beat up Doug all the time, but Doug was low key his best friend, but they didn't want to say that. But his real best friend was Skeeter Valentine. Skeeter Valentine was a real I can't say the word, but he was a he was a black dude, man. <laughs> to rap he had a little <laughs> dj turntables him and doug used to freestyle on the show low key man that was a good classic show you need to go see it man i think it came at 1993 and went off to 98 and the show that's number one took doug's spot when it got off the air and make sure y'all go see the doug movie man but number one the show that replaced doug right when it got canceled or when they went off the air hey arnold <laughs> Hey Arnold is the number one show. You can't tell me nothing different. Everybody gonna say SpongeBob, maybe Rugrats, but Hey Arnold is the number one show of all time. Cartoon show for Nickelodeon. It's classic. Same as Doug, man. You had the football head. You had Gerald. Like I said, you always gotta have one black person on these shows. Have y'all noticed that there's always one black character, but like Rugrats, you got uh, Cynthia. No, that's Cynthia. That's Angelica's doll. But Susie, Susie's on there. Then you got Gerald with the high top fade on there. Then I don't care what nobody say. He was turquoise, but Skeeter Valentine was black on Doug. So, but Hey Arnold was the same as Doug. So they can go either way, man. They the same kind of show, man. But then who else was that girl? Who's the girl that used to love Hey Arnold? We used to try to beat him up though. Helga. You heard me, pal. I love you. Love you. Who else do you think has been stalking you night and day? Helga, man. Helga. I loved her too with her big old ponytails and ugly ass, man, but excuse my language. Cut, cut, cut. Hey Arnold is my number one Nickelodeon show of all time, man. If you got any other shows, man, like, subscribe, throw some comments in there. And everybody's watching me. I can't even perform straight, man. I got to probably redo this again, but fuck it. Hey, how you doing? I got to go, man. I'm about to get fired again. <laughs> got to wear your face mask. I'm not wearing it. I got my own face mask. Fresh room. Like, subscribe. I'm out. <laughs> Oh, no. Let me say my five. Oh shit! Wait, we're back. We're back. She's back. She got a top five. She got a top five. We're okay. back. I'm just gonna... My top five starts number one with Drake and Josh. Number two is Ned's The Classified School Survival Guide. 
Number three is iCarly. Actually, iCarly's tied for number one. And number three is actually Ned's Declassified. Number two is Zoe 101. <laughs> man, it's not even cartoon, but we're going to let it run with it, man. Number five is Unfabulous. Thank you. And that's it, man. Fresh Rome TV with another episode. You can't probably even see me, but that wasn't even cartoon, but I put it in the show anyways. Man, we're out. What the crap, man? I'm sorry. I don't know any good cartoons. Oh, okay.